Okay, so kindly open your modules class on page 10. We are now on the functions in real life. Okay, so in real world settings class, okay, in our environment or the things around us, function do exist. Okay, like for example class, um, are you familiar with a vending machine? Okay, in a vending machine, so what are you doing or what will you do in order for you to to acquire the the product that you want to buy like for example you want a soda or maybe you want a snack okay what will you do you will place money right you will insert in the slot um, a certain money or a price depending on the price and then when you insert a coin maybe or a bill what will happen so the the item will drop into the output slot okay so that machine class is applying the function or the input output um, situations okay your input there is your money okay so the the machine has a function that if you input this this amount okay so you will be or there will be an output as uh, a corresponding output uh, in a vending machine um, there's different there's different products right it could be that a soda is worth 10 at uh, 20 pesos or maybe a snack or a burger or a, um, a hot dog or maybe a sandwich is um, tagged as let's say 25 pesos so what if for example you inputted um, a hundred bill, hundred peso bill. So, how does the the machine will understand that that you need a change? So that's why we have a formula, right? In a function, there's a formula. So it could be that the 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 output output is the product of is a product, or let's say for example, um, like we've said, if if the money that you that you inputted or you entered is is more than the required um, amount so the function is or the function there is defined okay so it could be that you will be um, changed by this amount for example if you inserted $100 coin or that 100 peso coin so if, if this product is chosen so you will um, you will give him uh, a 75 peso change okay so so the the machine itself has a function already okay in each in each item or in each input slot or in slot there's a function rule that we call aside from the vending machine class your thermometer are you familiar with a thermometer so nowadays we have the digital thermometer we have but before we have the the uh, are you familiar with the mercury thermometer where um, in that thermometer um, the input obviously is what the input is the body temperature of the person okay so the heat inside the body of the person so the the output will be the numbers um, that will appear in the or the mercury which is rising and falling within that um, thermometer so that class is also an, an example of function okay we have an input which is the heat and the output is the reading of your thermometer aside from aside from that class the circumference of a circle a circumference of a circle is a function of diameter which means in order for you to solve for the for the circumference of a circle you have to know the the value of the diameter or it could be the radius okay so whenever you try to measure uh, this kind this certain radius or maybe diameter so you may be able to solve different also values of circumference also class the um cars efficiency okay if you have your car so the, the efficiency of a car is in terms of miles per gallon okay 
So the function is in miles per gallon. It um, the the efficiency of the car is a function of miles per gallon, which means that the 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 more you put gallons of gasoline, okay, what will happen to the to the efficiency of the car? So obviously, it will um, it will affect its its speed. It will affect or affect its temperature inside or maybe at the outside of the car and other uh, factors like, for example, the aerodynamics of the car and even the design. Okay, so actually the, the car's efficiency of a car or the efficiency itself, there's a different factors and one of it is the, the, the gas itself, the number of gallons that you, that you um, input there. Okay, so it it will affect how fast the the car is moving. In economics, in math, how can we apply or where can we find the functions? In a salary, okay, if an employee is his salary is based in his uh, maybe daily wage or maybe hourly wage, okay. If, if his rate is hourly or maybe daily, so his salary will be a function of the number of hours he worked. So, for example, um, in, in a week, he only worked for, let's say, 20 hours for the whole week. So, let's say his, his hourly rate is, let's say, 50 pesos. So, this is the only amount that he will receive. So, it still depends on the company if aside from the hourly wage so there's still let's say for example um, a cola or the um, um, allowance the the cost of living allowance so it will be um, a constant uh, that's why we have an equation right like like for example um, your wage is for example uh, 5x plus 30 for example so that 30 pesos for example is your cola or your cost of living allowance so your x which is a variable so that refers to the number of hours for example that you have worked so for example you only work five hours so that um, variable will change or your salary will also change but if you work more hours so your value of x will also change so it will result to a different output Okay, so that's also an example of, of function class. Even your shadows, okay? When when you walk in in under the sun, okay? Or even during during the night with a light on, so you'll see your shadow. So your shadow class is a function of your height and of course the time of the day. So your height for example is just short. So of course your shadow will also become short but if for example um, the time is night time or maybe daytime so you cannot appreciate the 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 length of your shadow you cannot see it so it's still a function okay um there's there's factors that affects the output of your um, certain phenomena in um for example in geometry Okay, in geometry class, we have patterns that, like for example, in, in a cube or in a polygon, okay? So, in a polyhedra, so you'll be able to, to um, count the number of faces of such um, um, shape, okay? And class, it is a function also of... of sides of course the faces or the sides of of the shape for example like for example in the cube so how many faces does it have so a cube has six faces a pyramid has three four four right yeah um the pyramid has oh it depends depends on the kind of pyramid there's a pyramid that has a rectangular base. There's also um, a pyramid which is having a triangular base. So it depends. 
if for example you have you have a triangular base so obviously you'll have four faces but if you have a um, rectangular base you'll have um, you'll have one two um, one two three four a uh, one five five faces yeah so in 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 geometry also there are functions that are used okay even in blocks class you also and even the the geometric patterns around us okay like for example the bricks if you have seen the the arrangement of the bricks class okay the this it is like somewhat like a stairs okay a stair step mm -mm. so we can we can make a function out of it if, if you really look closely closely on it so you can you can make uh, a function or a function rule out of it there and even class in arts in in math in algebra there is um, what we call applications of functions and like you said every day we encounter functions or function or function rule okay even in your even in your um what do you call this like for example in your um let's say cell phone simple as that your cell phone cannot cannot um cannot operate without you touching it right you you touch the screen there so the input there is your fingers or yeah fingers you cannot touch i but there are but there are uh, smartphones that can operate using a pen i guess uh -oh. like that so when you when you input because this this fingers of ours class when you when you touch your your screen like for example this Okay, you touch this. Okay, so this touch is equivalent to 5 volts. Okay, it's because this touch screen class um, is capacitor made. Okay, the, the keys here are capacitor. So once you once you press here, it will it will supply 5 volts and it will um, it will um, somewhat energize your your capacitor in there which is connected to to a certain key yeah okay so that's input output situations so anyway around us there's a lot like i said there's a lot of functions happening around us if we only look it through them carefully okay like i've said class functions are not only defined as f of x okay um f of x is only for math yeah um that's the common common way on how to define a function um f of x is 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 read as function of x which means that your equation is a function of x so yung is a substitute mo doon are values of x but um there in your lecture we have also um x function of t can you see it x function of t your t there is time represents your time so which means um your x by the way your x there represents your distance so the distance traveled by by the object is a function of time so like for example he he runs for one hour so how far did he go already or what distance did he reach so it depends it's it depends on the function Okay, so like for example, he, oh, he doesn't move, so there's no time, so obviously there will be no distance also. So the output is dependent on your input, which is the time. Aside from that, we also have here your, um, in the biologist, okay, in the biologist, the function that they are using is m sub t, or which is m as a function of time, where your m there is the mass of the cell, the time is still the t okay so here in in those biologists they are trying to determine 
what will be the mass of a certain cell as time passes by. So let's say, for example, um, um, one month have passed. So what will be the, the, the mass now of that certain cell? So meron sila yang ginagawa equation or function that defines that mass. So M sub T or mass as a function of time. So in the right side of the equation, nyan class is puro T lang siya. Okay? Um, take note class, kung ano yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, yan yung magiging variable sa right side of the equation. Okay? Katulad ng f of x or f f parenthesis x. So that means the right side of the equation is puro x lang siya. Kung halimbawa, x sub t or x function of t. So obviously, yung right side of the equation are all in terms of time. Okay? So, Tingnan nyo lang, observahan nyo lang kung ano yung letter na nasa loob na parenthesis. Yan dapat yung, yung mga variables also in the right side of the equations. Kasi yun yung para masasatisfy sa, sa function natin. Okay? So, those are class, the functions in our real life.